Hey, we're here. We're going to talk about video games and stuff that's not video games. It's a weekly podcast on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany's got a butt cup. And by the way, <laughs> that's Brittany Satters. She's got the butt cup. Hey, got we the got Mil- Miller. Jar- Jarvis Miller. Jarvis Miller. <laughs> Jarvis Miller. No, Jarvis Mitchell here with the crab cup. Oh. Got, over here going to the zoo. We got Chris. It's the Hutch Hunter show. Going to the zoo. <laughs> and I'm drinking water. And a, and a, and a, that doesn't look like a lead cup. It looks water. like it looks like grape water. It's it is it is it's uh, a acai berry flavor. What the fuck are we doing? Who are we as humans? <laughs> we got like, we're we're just trying to restart it, but I think we need to just keep going. Right, well, let's yeah. go. Allow we're us going. to and, and, allow and, the pain to exist. Hey guys, guess what? This is our third attempt starting this podcast, <laughs> and you know better. what? It's not going to get any better. We're just going to rip the bandaid no, off. No. We're and just... we'll, let's rip the bandaid off with our first segment. Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to th- right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Dab on that bell. <laughs> 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 Dab right. on that bell. If given an unlimited budget, what? But with the caveat that it had to be based on some other intellectual property, what kind of restaurant would you start? Like someone came to you and said, Hutch, here is four bajillion D and a half dollars. I want you to start a restaurant, but I want it to be themed after an intellectual property. What intellectual property would you pick? And also, what would the signature dish be? Mm. Okay, the the IP part. I'm I'm trying to think of what I could put it to. I think I I want to make something you just around. Want to make like an egg sandwich and like try and shoehorn that into some intellectual property? <laughs> oh, oh, dude, no! I, I was thinking like mac and cheese because I love me some mac and cheese. So I okay, want so to do some, the something best with that. Attached to mac and cheese, mac and me, mac and cheese. So you know what? Me and Ooh. Brittany watched a fucking weird ass video before you guys got here about a guy who was addicted to mac and cheese to the point that that's the only thing he had eaten for like seventeen years. He couldn't eat anything else. It would he would vomit. That's how you get scurvy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Did he put other things in it, or was no, it just... that grossed him out? Like he was talking about how like like bacon, bacon, the bacon mac and cheese. He was like, Ooh. he would like was really creeped. Like they just had him walking around the grocery store looking at different food items, <laughs> and, and getting he was disgusted. telling them how he felt about each one. And like the meat thing was really bothering him because he was like, ah, oh, used to be a living, breathing thing with like meat and tendons and vi- veins and stuff. And then he was like, he looked at a steak and was like, ugh, you have to wash the blood off this. What is this? <laughs> and then... Oh no. He said that like he went to the vegetable aisle and was like the I just don't even like the color of this one. Like he, he didn't I even mean, know he, what it was. Yeah, he didn't even know great. what it was. He was I don't know, he was really strange. And as you guessed it, I don't know, <laughs> someone probably touched his butt when he was younger, so that's why he's <laughs> Suffering so from like a for it was like a form of like O C D like PTSD type mm. of deal where he uh just couldn't eat. I don't know, we didn't finish the video, but okay. <laughs> He only ate mac and cheese, like Velveeta. Does he cook for himself? Yeah. So, like, he can't go out and eat with anyone. Yeah. He Which only was... eats mac and cheese. Yeah. So his grocery, like, he how much mac, his, and, mac He opened and up his cabinet and it was all mac and cheese. All Velveeta shells and And cheese. so I was, like, talking to Brian. I was like, how, like, does he not eat, like, I don't know, like, ice cream or cake or it doesn't necessarily have to be healthy. Like, does yeah. he eat other things, nope. too? But he doesn't. And apparently it's just a condition that's Mac and cheese something. birthday cake. Yeah, yeah. It's just, he just uh, eats Velveeta mac and cheese. Ooh. Yeah, it so. made me really not want mac and cheese. That's how you get scurvy. Yeah, pretty That's much. That's how you get like a bunch of nutrient deficiencies. There, but, <laughs> there was one dude who, uh, in the UK who went blind because he wasn't getting all the nutrients. He was eating like junk food. I mean, it's a little a bit of a tangent, but like mm-hmm. he was just eating like chips and no. shit. Nothing with any nutritional value. Did you know yeah. that the <laughs> limit of chicken nuggets is 497? <laughs> Because at 498. What do you mean by the limit for chicken nuggets? Like the number of chicken nuggets you can eat before you die? Yes. Yeah. 
Like that is a guy died at 498. So the limit is obviously 497. Is that a lifetime limit? What's the cooldown on no, that? No, that was like one at day. One, at once. 24 at once. hour period. Like he just was like sat down to a feast of 490 some chicken nuggets and then died immediately afterwards. So. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. Was he aiming for 500? But I don't know missed? what his aim was. <laughs> I don't know. What, I, hey, I don't you know, know what? Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. <laughs> A little scrapbook poetry for you guys. <laughs> what a All you big well, chicken uh, speaking of the stars, I've there. got one. And it's, okay. And it's because I'm staring at it right now. Toe Jam and Earl themed restaurant. Okay? Uh, yeah. That's but, a very appetizing. What would you call it? Um, uh, toe Jam and Earl's Toe Jam Topia? No. <laughs> toe Jam and Earl's uh, uh, Funky Fresh Fish. Mmm. And, Fucky fresh fish. Yes, and what it's going to be is it's going to be a sushi restaurant. Okay, and mm. their 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 big ass uh, spaceship is going to be filled with ice, and you have to open it up, and it's going to have like sashimi spread on top of it. That's going to be the main thing, and then they're going to make it like weird and funky, so it looks like you're eating aliens. Okay, because they're aliens. Mm. No, that, there be a, that, that's a really weird thing to kind of get over. Sorry, I didn't mean, mean to th- thinking about eating aliens. It's like going to you know they have those um, poop theme like restaurants. Oh yeah, the where, ones that look like the emoji. Where, where you're, well, you're, they legit have you like sitting on like toilet bowls or some shit, yeah. or they, or they feed you like ice cream in a toilet bowl, I'm bowl not something with weird. This. <laughs> this is news to me. Yeah. It, it's they are in Japan, but they're also <laughs> in some like I've seen. No, there's one in like Canada somewhere, and maybe mm. in the U.S. somewhere too. The closest thing I've ever come to like poop food is on Halloween. People would make like a weird. It would look like cat shit. Like they would have like oh, yeah, a yeah yeah yeah. They would take a, a litter box that was obviously like clean. They bought it from the store and like a scooper, and they like made some sort of candy that looks like litter, and then it have like chocolate pieces. That would roll around in it and dusty, what and they would the scoop fuck? it. Yep. That one time I went trick or treating as a kid, and they just gave it to me, and I was like, "What no the thanks. fuck?" <laughs> no, I think someone was no trying thanks. to trick you into eating cat shit. <laughs> I think so. <clears throat> That's the closest I've ever come. That's to, a like, fucking poop nightmare. Poop. <laughs> Oof. Man, no. This is all kinds of bad. Okay, well, I think if I your did... Your hometown sucks. <laughs> it was actually Brian's hometown. Both of your hometowns <laughs> suck. It's true. We went down the mountain that year to do our trick-or-treat. Ooh. <laughs> we put in our full set of teeth and just rode down the mountain. That's too bad you didn't uh, get to the country clubs. They were giving out to you who's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't get in the country clubs. Too poor for that. They know you. <laughs> they, they know, know you. They, they check out. IDs. They can smell the poor on us. No. Uh, if I had to pick something, it would probably be something near and dear to my heart, which is Sailor Moon. Okay. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> and that would be, I guess the signature dish would be like spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, so, yeah. That's cute. Because Super Sailor Moon. Because meatball heads. Uh, yeah, because she has yeah. those buns on top of her head. Yeah. And Well, in the Japanese version, they called her bun head. But in the like really terrible dub I grew up with, they called her meatball head. <laughs> Because those dumb American kids don't know anything about buns, yeah. so here's meatballs. Well, you so. could do both. You could have buns as an option, too. Which, uh, honestly, is kind of cheating, I feel like, because there already is Sailor Moon restaurants in Japan that serve these pretty amazing-looking dishes. Okay. Yeah. But I would probably lean towards something like that. I think you could also do... So in Japan, they have a bunch of like these desserteries that just do yeah. like mm-hmm. parfaits and ice cream sundaes and they're all like really beautiful and awesome yeah and i think sailor moon would be well suited for that too. yeah it would definitely be something that was the presentation is probably a little <laughs> bit more important than the actual food if that makes sense yeah like some food looks better than it tastes and i think that would probably be what it would be <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah not yeah. the sonic curry not the sonic curry <laughs> <clears throat> Well, how, how about you, Jairus? What kind of restaurant and food would you make? Um, Fast and the Furious. Oh, yeah. Dom's Kicking Chicken. Ooh. <laughs> okay. But what makes Dom's Chicken so kicking? He kicks it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me someone's going to kick it onto my plate. We just- <laughs> like, it, they just come up and they hold it with tongs and yeah, someone just like... Just like <laughs> Hits it with a wrench or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Okay. You just go get a, like a whole chicken, 
and, and you just put it just, string, just football punt you it. You tie a string around it, and, just and cook then you it like, take beer. it a couple of laps around the the drag strip, <laughs> and uh, so that it can feel the speed, <laughs> <laughs> the speed and the fury. But it's and stuffed then, with a corona. Oh, it's stuffed with a corona. Yeah, you yeah. could do beer can chicken. I live my life a quarter chicken at a time. Do they- a- actually. Beer can chicken, but with gnaws. Ooh. Oh, no. Wow. No. That would also, have to sign a waiver. Also, we don't, we don't mention that company. That's right. That's right. <laughs> They're dead to us. <laughs> God damn it. Well, of course, my uh, other one that I have, because my last name is Belcher, people are automatically assume that I would make like a burger, Bob's Burgers type restaurant but your name's brian i know but your name isn't bob but i have cosplayed as bob and i did come up with a recipe for it you could call it babs burgers babs burgers burgers. i kind of like it i kind of like it and i did have a everyone would be confused because they'd be like who's babs are you babs yeah they'd all they'd actually that that's what would happen they'd not me but um, yeah, I would do the burger today, and of course, my birthday is Christmas Day, so I'd have to make the Jesus Christ, mm. the, and his uh, the seven deadly cheeses. So just have one for representing each cheese, like greedy Gouda. Mm. Um, what's another one? I'm not sure. Is Jesus tied in though with the seven? No, deadly not sins? at all. But it doesn't matter. Unrelated. You no. made you've made that before, haven't you? Satanic yeah, I have, I have made. I actually have made it before. Swiss. <clears throat> satanic oh is god one of the seven satanic sins. yeah sloth slothy swiss uh yeah i had chunky I, I, cheddar yeah yes. Ch- chunky is my favorite cheddar. sin <laughs> favorite sin being, there, being, uh, a, being, chunk. being a chunk <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's pretty much uh yeah toe jam and earl and bob's burgers for me anyone else got no one so i've thought about restaurants but more is <clears> like <throat> a not specific uh one video game or one ip yeah. but maybe like an entire restaurant based around like video game mm-hmm. type food would mm-hmm. be pretty cool mm-hmm. well the universal studios is getting ready to open that super nintendo world and i'm sure they're gonna have some video game themed food the other answer that i have is um a handful of years ago somebody created a fake menu for a fake guy fieri restaurant oh my god this sounds amazing already <laughs> and it's just total shit post mm-hmm. um it's like guy fieri's all american pa- uh heart heart attack or something oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's like cheeseburger slammers with donkey sauce and just some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. it's it's all Bunch like of verbiage shitty guy fieri language and i think I would like to open a restaurant based on the intellectual property of Guy Fieri, um, but it's not him. It's mm. the intellectual property, uh, like the internet's idea. Of the him. internet's idea of Guy Fieri. Okay, the history. internet's Guy Fieri. 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 <laughs> Fieri. I feel like I have to stand up Fieri. for him though, because every restaurant I've gone to that he's gone to has been amazing. Yeah, and you know, that's that's the thing that gets me is I. Want to love diners, dive-ins, and drive-ins and dives, uh-huh. but I just he exhausts me. He, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> it's the presentation of the show. Yeah, yeah. So the, the dude seems like super chill. Like when he was on Hot Ones, like yeah, he, he was super down to earth. It's like realize he's a joke though. I, I think he <laughs> does. <laughs> no, it's, he I think it's gone. To. It's gone past he that because he was making fun of himself and so, the lead singer Smash Mouth. I keep going back to this story I heard on the radio a couple years ago, where apparently him and his hairdresser got into a huge fight in a car on the way to the airport, and he stopped the car, had the car stopped, and shoved his hairdresser out onto a highway and left him there. Oh, <laughs> and I keep going back to that news story, and what I was like, shithead. "Well, <laughs> what wow. the fuck? Don't man. I mean your heroes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, have you seen his hair? I don't blame him. <laughs> but yeah. I wonder. Stuck that way I wonder what his hairdresser is like. I wonder what kind of person. Yeah, I don't, and I don't have any other context other than that. So I can tell you exactly so. what his hairdresser is like. It is a man who has flames on every tool. <laughs> Oh my god, you're <laughs> reading my mind, dude. Why? I was thinking he also has like that flame like shirt, oh, like, yeah, button up shirt yeah, that he has flame button up shirt. Yeah, and he's got really big mutton chops. I think he's also got like green hair, spiky hair. Yeah, like green, he's a, yeah. like a, like basically. So he's the main character from Ca- uh, Crazy Taxi. Yes. Oh uh, yes. yeah, that's yeah. exactly what he's I'm actual right now. Cool. 
His name's cool. Axel. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 here we go. It's not making some crazy <laughs> money. Uh, so I've got one more that I can throw out. And okay. I don't have. <laughs> and by one more, you mean one for real? Or one for real, yes. Not just the concept of macro. Yeah. For- <laughs> <laughs> um, so it would be a Metal Gear <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> The, like, it's just you know snake meat. <laughs> no, no. So, so, so the dish would be lale lule lo mein. Ooh, good job! I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> he is not. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Though. But what if you put snake meat in it? I, that's an option. Additional fee. You can, go, you can <laughs> customize it. <laughs> See, so here's the question: Can you have a Metal Gear? related restaurant without it being an insane fever dream no i think it has to be an insane fever dream i think before like you step into the lobby of the restaurant and you all take a tab of acid <laughs> and then you move from that point on to the next I mean, section of the restaurant where your waiter you, pops up from a box it's <laughs> like let me see you everyone <laughs> sneaks to their seat yeah. <laughs> but there but there are no chairs or if there are chairs they're like different heights <laughs> they're the orange cardboard boxes that you sneak in <laughs> each chair is a different metal gear chair so like a metal oh gear Rex, a lot of those Ray. would be Ooh. very uncomfortable mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah oh my god well let's take it to the chorus keep going you were you were there <laughs> <laughs> and once the food is presented in front of you like as soon as it happens you turn the lights off and you have to eat in the dark, and you can't dun, see. Dun, 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 and that, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, so we're describing more of a dining experience mm-hmm. than a restaurant. Well, yeah. well I'm gonna hit this Lale Lulo Main over here, <laughs> and I'm going to eat it. But here's the thing: all the waiters are trying to get it from me. It's in the dark, so I have them. to hide. So it's, it's gravy <laughs> robbers meets Metal Gear Solid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, yeah. and you have spotlights, so everyone's trying to like, yeah, eat away from the spotlight, or like you're just eating, and someone hits you with a tranquilizer dart, <laughs> <laughs> takes you right down. That's an extra fee. <laughs> an extra fee. I have to catch you. You have course. to call ahead for that. Part of the experience, it. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, we're out of tranquilizer darts. You'll have to come back in three weeks. We've got li- live ammunition we can use instead. And if they find you, the lights actually come back on, but they're all red, and it's the music comes up, and it's fast. Mm-hmm. And you know, and, and then there's you, an exclamation point somewhere. You place your order via codec. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! I could have fun with this for a long time. <laughs> it would but the waiters it. all behave like the colonel from the end of Metal Gear Solid Two: Sons of Liberty. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> you mean where they talk Start. to you for a half hour at a time? Yeah. Start talking about like the point of existence and yeah. all the fucking gut shit it was spewing. Oh, oh yeah, we could hire a bunch of philosophy students. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me anxiety just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hideo. <sighs> <sighs>